So I'm going to go through a few myths tonight, bust a few myths. Um, I'm also going to give you some strategies and it's all about weight management. But in my mind, weight management, it comes when your body is healthy. Weight management doesn't come as a consequence of an imbalanced program that deteriorates your body. And that's what, what most people have around the wrong way. Okay? So if you think, I'm going to give you a diet plan that will miraculously drop 10 kilos off you in six weeks, go home and get some dinner. <laughs> some lettuce leaves and cabbage and uh, carrot as you maybe expect. Um, I will look more into the health of the body, okay? So I want to start with a bit of a metaphor. I've just come back from the south coast, so I want you to just spend a few seconds looking at a wave. Or waves. Okay, now I've got you meditating. <laughs> what did you see there? You saw a series of waves, didn't you? Were any two waves the same? Were any two, was any one wave static? No. Okay, and this is a metaphor for nature. This is an example of nature. We're part of nature. We're human beings but we get stuffed with these static, rigid programs that may match our body for a short period of time, but when we move forward a few weeks, a few months, our body is changing, the program's not. So that's the first little tip as to how to work with your body in order to find health and therefore fluid weight management, okay? The next one is not really for anything, but I thought it was quite cool. <laughs> you like to see some uh, surfing dogs. Okay, <laughs> 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 they're with nature. And when we play in the waves, we're with nature too. So it's that dynamic flow. Right, let's hit the first myth. And calories... They've been around, actually they've not been around for that long, but they've been around in our lifetimes. And then we think calories are weight management. Calories in versus calories out are a tool for weight management. If you consume less or fewer calories than you expend, then we're all good. We, we deplete body weight. Is that right? Okay. I, as a practitioner, and every other practitioner I know, have many, many examples where that hasn't worked. You'll have some crazy chick eating 10,000, sorry, 1,000 calories a day and exercising three times a day. They're the kind of ones that the personal trainers in the gym spot out and uh, get worried about. <laughs> so they got a 2,000 calorie deficit every day and they don't look like a rake because their body is in a very hibernation, hibernation state. Okay, so you can very, very easily find examples that defy that. If your body's in full health, and for a young person with good metabolic function, this can work for phases. But how many examples have I heard of, you know, I did this retreat, retreat last year, or I did this diet last year, and it worked really, really well, this year I'm doing the same thing and it's, nothing's happening. What's going on? Okay, we'll reveal what's going on. So is, calorie a, is a calorie a calorie a calorie? That's another aspect, not just the metabolism, but calories are all different. What foods we eat, which theoretically have X number of calories, all impact the body in different ways and have a 
a different calorie type effect. So if we're eating um, you know, food, lots of plant matter that have cell walls, that's actually quite hard to break down. We don't release as many calories as is potentially in that food. If we were eating protein-rich foods, such as more animal produce, it actually has a high energy requirement to break it down and turn it into fuel. So we're actually using energy to break it down. So it's not just what you're getting in, whereas um, more carbohydrate based are, are less energetic to break down. Um, processed or whole foods are important. And then the caloric values in food tables are averages. But nowadays food tables are these things. <laughs> Dread. It, because it's a digital display, we think it's accurate. It's like when the digital scales first came in and you stood in and it gave you a, a tenth of a kilo measurement, sometimes a hundredth of a kilo measurement. Oh, it must be really accurate because it's coming down to a small decimal place versus this arrow thing that wavers round about, you know, a certain kilo, you know, number of kilos. The digital requirement fills you a bit because these things that are modern and sophisticated are using old calorie values. You know, what is set, you know, way back in the, in the last century as caloric values of certain food types, this is what this is carrying. So as I've just said, it depends on the food types, it will vary, um, but we're very much working on averages. I'm not against people using um, MyFitnessPal or something like that as a, as a means to just monitor and keep an eye on themselves, but don't be too fastidious about the values because your body does, does change quite a lot. So this is overall my concept or my thoughts on weight management. Just to blow a few modern myths, okay? Push it aside, respect it's there, but it's a modern construct. It's something a five-year-old child can understand, but I argue the fact that our body is more complicated than that. Our body is more complicated than the most sophisticated computer ever designed, and it will be more complicated than the most sophisticated computer as we go through time, because there's trillions of cells all doing their own thing in our body, okay? So we need to find a sophisticated, personal way of working with ourselves.